The VOD F-7U Cutlass was a carrier-based fighter jet, developed early in the Cold War. The United States Navy had issued a competition for a carrier-capable day fighter, in June 1945. Vought's entry in the competition was influenced by German experimental jet fighters, and a senior designer from Messerschmitt AG, had contributed to the design. The Cutlass had low aspect ratio swept wings, and twin wing mounted tail fins. The fuselage was short, and the cockpit was placed well forward. This was to provide good visibility for the pilot. Pitch and roll control was provided by Elevens, and the leading edge of the wings were fitted with slats. The controls were hydraulically powered, and provided artificial feedback so the pilot could feel the aerodynamic forces acting on the plane. However the hydraulic system proved to be unreliable. A very long nose landing gear was fitted for high angle of attack takeoffs. The high stress of the carrier landings often led to nose gear failure, sometimes causing injuries to the pilot. The Cutlass used two Westinghouse J-34 turbojets, making it underpowered. Three Cutlass prototypes were ordered in 1946. The first flight took place in September 1948. The first production version was the F-7U-1, which was very similar to the prototypes. The F-7U-2 was developed, but never built, and the F-7U-3 was fitted with more powerful engines. The first 16 used Allison J-35A-29 engines, and the rest were fitted with Westinghouse J-46WE-8B turbojets. The F-7U remained underpowered, despite the new engines. In 1957, there had been 78 accidents with the F-7U, the Cutlass had the highest accident rate of all Navy swept wing fighters. Because of this, the United States Pacific Fleet decided to replace all Cutlass aircraft with Grumman F-9 F-8 Cougars. 320 F-7Us had been produced when the aircraft type was retired in early 1959, after having served less than eight years. 